if f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 and g of f of x is equal to x, then what is g of x? And it's a property of inverse functions that if we plug a function into its inverse function, that we will get back x. So in this case, g of x must be the same thing as the inverse function of x. So we just need to find this function's inverse. And to do that, we can rewrite f of x as y is equal to 2x plus 5. And then if we switch x and y, we can then solve for the new y, which is the inverse function. So switching x and y, we have x is equal to 2y plus 5. So this is for the inverse. And subtracting 5 from each side, we have 2y is equal to x minus 5. And then dividing each side by 2, we have y is x over 2 minus 5 halves. And this is just equal to the inverse of f. And to test that this is truly equal to our g of x, we'll just plug f of x into this inverse we found, and we should get back x. And if we do, then we know for sure that g of x is equal to this function here, x over 2 minus 5 halves. So let's plug in this 2x plus 5 into our inverse function. So in other words, we have the inverse of 2x plus 5, and this is equal to 2x plus 5 over 2 minus 5 halves. And now if we simplify, we know that the denominator is 2 in each of these. And we have 2x plus 5 minus 5, and we're left with 2x over 2, and the 2's cancel. So that we're left with x. So now we know for sure that this x over 2 minus 5 halves is our g of x. So this is the final answer.